635 on the dial tone p.m. Today is the 19th, 07, 2014. Let's get it. All right, peoples. Damn. Let me turn that buzzing off for a minute. All that buzzing, cousin. All right, check this out. Just got a message, right? Something's thinking in my head, and I just got this message, right? Message goes something a little like this. And I want to get into a little bit of that other debate. Uh, message go like this, man. Okay, the phone lines, very important. Communication, very important. When it comes to unit, very important. Because if you don't have commu communication, 
between your like-minded uh, brothers and sisters, then the divide and conquer process has already taken effect and your, your unity establishment is already infected with a virus called non-unity, non-true unity. You feel what I'm saying? Okay. So we all know that um, inside the computer, Inside the computer, right? <laughs> Aloe vera. Ooh, that shit nasty. But anyway. Uh, what was I talking about? I was talking about the um, telephone number communication and... Um, oh. The computer. Now the computer has something inside of the computer, right? But what's inside of the computer is trigger switches. You feel what I'm saying? So it's a frequency, like connecting, like all the phone lines are connected, right? And there's an operator for the phone line who connects the call to the other person to make the phone line go through. Right, so there's somebody in the middle of the unity line, of the phone line. Remember, note that all your phones is tapped. Your smartphone on your foot, on your on your hip, or any phone you have that's uh, cellular, that's mobile, is a tracking device. The tracking device has been installed in these phones when phones, kind of like when phones first came out. It was in there long, that long ago. Okay. Don't trip off of that because we speak with the truth. Remember, the truth never hides. The truth never runs. The truth just speaks and walks in the speaking of the truth. You feel what I'm saying? So anything come against the truth, you just going to have to come against it because the truth is coming straight for you. It's coming to your town near you. Now. The devices that's installed inside of these machines, the devices that's installed inside the computer, there's an operator on the other line, even when your YouTube, because when your YouTube video is uploaded, they have to watch the video before they upload the video on YouTube. And they have another button that they can push to let that video not be shown in certain cities and only be shown in a certain area. So when you think that your video is shown worldwide, it's only showed in the United States and it's only showed in a part in a, only a certain part of the United States. It's a setup. You feel what I'm saying? Because if you're speaking what they want to hear, which is violence and revenge, that's what they want to hear. Because without violence and without revenge, to go against the truth, it would be, they look, they make themselves look very stupid. But if they can get you on camera speaking about violence and revenge, then they can record it and play it back to you and use it against you. You feel what I'm saying? Even though we know the truth, who's fucking who? We all know the truth. But like you say, they, they, you know, they like to use reverse psychology. They like to put yourself against yourself to make you self-destruct. That's their main goal. Number one goal. Make people self-destruct. Because if that's not true, then it wouldn't be a such thing as people committing suicide. Wouldn't be no Kurt Cobain. Wouldn't be, you know what I mean? Wouldn't be no suicidal acts. Right? So let's get that out of the way. Now, the reason why the Spirit is telling me for you guys to start putting your phone numbers up here and start getting in contact with as many people as possible and staying in contact, making the phone lines work. Instead of having a tracking device on your hip, get one up on a tracking device and make that motherfucker track. You see what I'm saying? If I'm talking to 30 or 40 people a day, you talking to 30 or 40 people a day, we making them motherfuckers work. You feel what I'm saying? But if you're not using the unity, you're not making them work. Your phone is just a tracking device. You call them this person, that person, talk to mom, pops, this person, that. Five people, five, ten people, max, that people talk to on a daily basis. Now, when you up that to 30 or 40, 
know what I mean? Your phone is constantly working. It's constantly, hey, man, did you get the phone call? Yeah, man, I just saw your video. Yeah, man, I like that video. Woo, 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 woo. Keep it going, brother. Keep it going, brother. All right, I'm going to holler at you. It ain't got to be no long conversation. It can be a three-second conversation. Reason being a three-second conversation, because inside of their organization, they watch short phone calls. The reason why they pay attention to short phone calls is because they think that you are selling something or that you are uh, illegally selling something. You feel what I'm saying? And you have like a, um, a delivery thing. You're delivering stuff. That's usually when quick phone calls come in. Hey, what's up, dog? Yeah, let me get a dime. You get a dime? Yeah, all right. Where you at? All right, meet me on the corner. So they pay attention to quick phone calls. But what if we're constantly having quick phone calls all day? That's null and void. You just call confusion. You just cause confusion in the way they monitor the phone system. You feel what I'm saying? Use your own revised psychology. Use your mind. You got the mind. It's here now. The knowledge is here. The angels is here. Everybody is down here on earth. We're ready to get it. But we get it with love and we get it with unity. Simple as that. Ain't no preaching, no hate. Ain't no preaching, no nothing. If somebody's got something coming for them, believe me, you don't have to say nothing about it. It's going to come for them anyway. You feel what I'm saying? It's going to come for them anyway. There's no need to say what's coming for you. It's already going to come. A lot of stuff is written in the book. And a lot of stuff is starting to see this, this whatever's written in the book play out in front of their face. And that's what's putting them in a state of fear. Like, damn, this shit is really happening. Damn. Motherfuckers thought it was a game. They like, shit, it's really happening. Fuck. And it is really happening. But go back to the computer system. Now, you know they're blocking the videos, right? Obviously, they're blocking the videos, right? Because I got 119 subscribers, right? And I don't have not one video with over 50 people who watched it. That should tell you right there. Because think about it, when you subscribe to somebody, every video they upload pops up on your screen. You feel me? So where's the 119 people on each video watching the video? You see what I'm saying? They only let, they only let the certain people that's working for them watch your video. And it's usually your family members. Certain people in your family that they will not watch, let you watch, see, well, let them see the video. Because we free spirits. So the people in our family cannot, you mean, you can't really say it because he's like, I don't know what the motherfucker going to say. Shit, we can't stop him. What the fuck we going to do? Tell a grown ass man not to speak his motherfucking mind? What the fuck? You feel me? So we free spirits. We doing what somebody else will not do because they don't have the cojones and they and they and they fear. And not only that, they know that they're aging in the game and they know the part that they're playing in this game of life. See, when the truth comes, it's designed to show you everybody what they're wearing under their drawers, under their panties. It's designed to show you pull a skirt up. You motherfucker, you was fucking with me all that time? Son of a bitch. And they know that. And their only way to get out of the situation that they're in is to provoke war. Because if you provoke war, then you can take out the people with the questions and the way and the lifestyle that was going to pull your panties up. You know your panties is going to get pulled up, but you can provoke war. Act like an agent and come into the game and provoke war. You feel what I'm saying? So you can take out who you need taken out. And even though you was on their side when they got taken out, you really wasn't on their side because you was behind them provoking the war to get that person out the way so nobody won't see what's under your panties and the world can go back to the rhythm that it was. That's what happened to Khalid Muhammad. That's what happened to Bob Marley. That's what happened to certain people who was pulling panties up. You start to pull people's panties up and see who's under there, motherfucker. They try to take you out because they know that they're guilty. But.
back to the internet. Internet dog, <clears throat> phone line. Make sure you call each other, man. I don't give a fuck if you got to start the thing off. Look, start the thing off because you know that a lot of people edit. They probably can edit whatever they can do. Because cause you got to put the knowledge together. You know how to make movies. They make stuff look real and they can edit stuff and they can do all type of stuff. So you got to protect yourself against what they can do by speaking the truth all the time. Now, for, for say, for instance, say that I got on here and I said my whole thing was like, I just 30 minutes. I'm free to people. Free to people. Money ain't nothing. Free to people. Money ain't nothing. Free to people. And I went 30 minutes saying the same shit. Money ain't nothing. Free to people. We can come together. Unity. Money ain't nothing. Free to people. Money ain't nothing. Free to people. And I keep saying this right for 30 minutes. Now, if somebody, if you cut that, if you try to cut and edit what a person said, but the person, if you cut this, it's still going to link right back and he's going to say it again. If you cut that, he's going to link right back and say it again. But if you cut, they're going to link right back and say it again. You see what I'm saying about the truth and how it works? That's how it works. You feel what I'm saying? And that's what I keep saying. I see all of these people around the world. But I ain't never heard of no place with no land that somebody's got where people can come and live on and get their lives together and study. A squat on the land. It's free on the land. Nobody's asking you for rent or nothing. Just asking you, you know, to work. Farm in the garden. Help the farming out. Got some food ready. You know what I mean? Where is that? Never heard of it. Only person who stood out to me was Dr. Malachi C. York. He's the only one who stood out big enough to see, hey, he got land. Where's all that? Where's all the other cowards? Where's the cowards at? <laughs> I'm gonna show you how to sniff aging out, nigga. Because remember, uh, I don't know if it's in this book. Let me see. Says the horse senses out nuisance that nobody else can see. You see what I'm saying? That's why they fear the truth. The horse senses out nuisances that, you know, nobody will even notice. You'll be like, damn, how do he know that? I know that's age. I'm trying to tell you it's age. If you listen to what I'm saying, because your acts, in your acts, it shows your life. Like if something happened to you and somebody presented you with a lot of money and you never had nothing and then you start going out and buying different things and buying different that it's automatically the psychology of the people is saying that look I told you he wanted that that's what he wanted as soon as he got his money he went and bought that I told you that's what he wanted put this shit together I don't think it's in this book. But anyway, that's what it said in one of the books. Sniff out nuisance, man. <laughs> I can smell it. Man, and why y'all bullshitting, man? Let's get it together. And let's get back on the phone line. So we know that there's an operator in the middle of the phone call, in the middle of any um, transaction between a message. It can even be a tweet. You feel what I'm saying? You can tweet something. Because remember, the tweeter page is one big computer. The computer is one big computer. You feel what I'm saying? When I say one big computer, my screen is linked to your screen. So just like a, a woman who came to fix my computer, right? And she was way out in India, right? Or way out wherever she was at. She was in India. And she said, would you give me permission to take over your computer? I said, yeah, go ahead. And she started moving my mouse around on my computer and going through my files on my computer. So if you know that's true, think about it like this. If she had the power to take over your computer, that means there's individuals that have the power all day to take over your phones, to take over your computers. They don't have to ask your permission because if you are winning the war, why would you want somebody looking over your shoulder and you consider yourself to be the boss? Like, I'm the boss. Nigga, who look? Nigga, what you, nigga, shut up. I do what I want to do. What What are they going to do? What are they, who are they? Three-fourths of man that had barely used their brain. That's who they, man, fuck these motherfuckers. I'm going, they got to do whatever I want to do. 
That's why you turn the cameras back on them. And what we can do is by uh, calling each other and calling each other, but making making videos, talking back and forth to each other, calling each other, making sure each brother see, each sister seen the video. We all got the message through the media, video to make sure that the message has been, has been passed and everybody has seen it. You feel me? That way they're forced to open up that tri open up that line. Because if one of us say, man, they won't let me see the video. It won't come in on my computer. And then you can take another camera and record it. <clears throat> you see what I'm saying? Record what's happening. Right? And then you take all the information in. And you file your lawsuit. You feel what I'm saying? You just continue to play the game. But play the game righteously. You be the righteous man playing from a righteous point of view. Playing from a baby's point of view. Just asking questions. Hey, why would you let me? Then why is this happening? Then why would I call motherfucking phone don't pick up? And you got to remember, this is the operator. So if I'm calling somebody, right? Mm, I make a phone call. And I'm trying to get in contact with a brother that I'm trying to get in contact. The operator can make the same recording that's on the on the on the brother or the sister phone that I'm calling. It can make the um it can make the recorder come on. You feel what I'm saying? It can block the phone call from coming through, ring on your side like you're actually calling somebody, but the person you're calling phone is not ringing. You feel what I'm saying? It's not ringing. It takes you straight to the message. And then you hear a message, yeah, woo woo here. Yeah, I'm not here, or whatever message they got up there. You feel me? That's part of divide and conquer. Now, in order to beat this, you feel what I'm saying? In order to beat this, you use all means of communication. That means I'm writing letters to your house before I send a letter off. I'm recording it, telling you the date and the time I'm at the P.O. box and dropping it in the box. And you're recording it, saying you got the message and you got the letter. And you calling me confirming that you got the letter. You feel what I'm saying? So now we just use the mail system for communication. We use the phone system communication. And you made a video saying that you received the package as a communication. Now we're forcing the communication to stay online by us forcing ourselves to be one with our brother and our sister. You feel what I'm saying? This is how you block the shit that they can do. And you know something is up on the bomb of phones. And remember, you got to remember one thing. Look at the movies to show you the possibilities of what can happen in a phone. A phone could have things put inside of the phone to where the people holding the phone or the, who program the phone they can type in a code on the master phone and your phone will explode. Boom. Because they already put something in your phone for it to explode. You feel me? So think of all these things. You got to think outside the box all the time on everything because you know who we're dealing with. Anybody who will block my YouTube channels and I'm just talking to the world like my family and you blocking it because you don't want nobody to hear what I'm saying, which is what I'm saying is there's no such thing as money. If a million people pass you a dollar, you have a million dollars. So what's the crime in having a million family members who are always passing you a dollar? What's the crime in that? They're trying to tell you it's a crime for you to unite with your brother and your sister. So you're saying, oh, if it's a crime, well, I'm going to break that law and I want you to prove it that it's a crime. Because I'm going to unite with my brothers and sisters. I'm going to fill my phone up with as many brothers and sisters as possible. And I'm going to call them daily. And we're going to send each other birthday gifts in the mail. And if the mail system shut down, we're going to find out why our mail didn't reach the point where it was supposed to reach. And you're supposed to be the mail people. And I paid for my stamp. And not only did I pay for my stamp. I paid the Queen of England into your zip code. I helped y'all clear the so-called debt that we're in. So I'm helping y'all out and you still won't deliver my package. You feel what I'm saying? 
use this thing against them because the mind got you into this because when you was young you didn't know anything and the more you came to know the more you became to wake up like oh shit I didn't know so now you know you go back and you teach the children it's ASAP as fast as possible don't slow their knowledge down teach them while they're young who what is and what type of system this is even if you got to sit your child down when they come to a certain age say look man we playing a serious game out here this is what you tell your child we playing a serious game out here son daughter this is serious this is a life or death game so don't take this game like it's not serious you see what's going on right you see the homosexuals and the gays and the murder and you see what's going on right and you're asking your conscious, your God mind inside you because you don't want to die, right? Well, you don't mind dying because we have to die, but you don't want to die in the ways that the people are dying outside in the world, right? Son, daughter, right? Now listen, this is a serious game. This game is about knowledge and it's about frequency. It's a frequency war. Certain frequencies is certain religions. They carry certain frequencies. If you see the religion, watch their actions. Don't listen to what they're telling you. Watch their actions or how they live their life. That tells you about their spirit and who's in control of their spirit. You feel what I'm saying? That's why I have you and you. That's why I never served you meat. I never let you eat meat since you was a child. Now you're 13, you're rising up. I never let you eat meat, but I can't stop you from eating it. Because this is your journey in life, too. You have a right to, you know, go out and explore and learn about life yourself. I'm only your parent to a certain age, then I got to let you go. But I'm preparing you before I let you go. You feel what I'm saying? I'm preparing you. Before I let you go, I'm going to prepare you. And you can do whatever you want to do out there, but at least I prepared you to a start so you have something to fall back on. If you go out there and you get into different click secret societies and you find out that what I told you was true, then you can always bounce back into your real truth. Your veganism, your watching your diet, your meditation, your yoga. You can bounce back to what I have taught you. And I taught you that unity. You know our family is, I mean, is very strong. And you know every time your birthday come, you since you got 13, your family was, uh, we had 700 people in our family. They all sent you $13. Now I want you to go ask somebody at their school when their birthday come, how much did they receive for their birthday from their family? You feel what I'm saying? And you see the difference between our family is unity and the family outside of our family is not. You feel what I'm saying? You have to teach your child. You have to break it down to your child before your child, before you release your child into the matrix. Homeschool your children if you have to, where well, you should. You should homeschool your children because the unity between your family should um, allow you to work from home. You feel what I'm saying? Whether you, you know, you, you, you selling incense, you selling oils, or you selling this, or you got some kind of uh, computer job that you work in, and people order stuff, and you can work from home. You see what I'm saying? So this is what this is about. And I'm 29, 17 minutes in there. So remember, teach the children the truth. Don't let them go into the game all messed up, eating all the sugar and stuff. You should have seen that video that I put up about the cereal. The guy put he put the cereal in the bowl of milk and he took a magnet and he put the magnet right next to the cereal and the cereal was following the magnet. Obviously tells you that they're putting foods, metals inside of the foods. You are a solar being. You have certain powers because you're solar. So if you're solar, ether, all of this is inside of you. They're finding ways to shut you down. So you can't be who you normally are. And you can be a zombie, a drone, a puppet. And that satellite can beam down on your third eye, down on your pineal gland, and control you through frequencies and thoughts. You feel what I'm saying? You break this shit down, man. Make it real. Because anybody, children, anybody, 
who tries to sell you anything. They don't care for you at all. Reason I say this, if you're my daughters and my son, have I ever sold you anything? Jeremiah? Assam, have I ever sold you anything and I'm your parents? I did what I had to do to make sure that food was on the table for you. Why? Because I love you. That's why. Because I love you. Now the people out in the world, if you can't love yourself, if they don't love themselves, how can they love you? When they don't have no unity in their own family, how can they love you? Think, my child, think. And those words that you give to your child, and those lessons, not blessings, not be lessons, those lessons that you're giving your child, will last for eternity. It will attach the, the, the information will absorb into their DNA. That the world is always free. Our God will never, ever do this to us because our God believes in unity and love. You feel me? Their God don't. Anybody who can go inside the church and call himself repentant and then leave the church and go do the same thing they repented for not to do is a confused individual. We got to stick to the real in this. And the, um, I probably ain't going to, it's going to cut off 32, 33. If it do cut out for peace, love, and light. But at the same time, we're going to keep talking to the rollout. The E-Man by Shore, E-Man by Shore and uh, Brother Larry. That was very interesting. That was very interesting. I heard Brother Larry's point of view. He was coming on a point of view to where, on a common sense point of view about life. But he wasn't really looking into the structure of life. There's always an energy signature on the planet that was this, that's connected to the same energy on the planet that birthed the planet. And the other energy on the planet is a secondary energy. It's not the first energy, it's the secondary energy. And you can have a discussion about which energy came first on the planet, which basically 